today I'm making a supper club inspired relish board. Now, if you're wondering what is the difference between a charcuterie board and a relish board, one has pickled herring, the other does not. First, you're gonna need a big old board. Now, if you don't have one, go into your Midwestern garage, pick out a piece of scrap wood. If anyone questions you, just tell them it's a rustic Pinterest trend and give them a big eye roll. All right, the key to making this thing look fancy is variety. I'm talking variety in color, in height, in food group, etc. I know, etc. is an awfully big word for something that has Ritz crackers on it. You always start with the most important food group, cheese. As you can see, I'm creating a little bit of balance by making this symmetrical. From there, I'm gonna put the little dishes in the center. Now, these are to create height and also to hold in anything that is liquidy or pickled. Once I have my dishes where I want them, I just fill in the holes. Now, am I making this up as I go? Yes, but I'd say this is a pretty darn good looking chicken relish board, if I do say so myself. 